Well, let's do what see what I say nine. I just did a video about um, the attack on drag queens, drag culture, and the cancellation of drag story time for children, um, which has just happened um, in Australia again. Uh, Monash City Council has has given in to bullies and terrorists um, and let them win. Um, and just one of the things I just can't get past is the idea that these people are threatening children. What they are saying is, if you don't cancel this event that we think is a threat to our children because we're homophobic and we think that homosexual people do could harm children um, because we're ignorant and stupid and we're usually just trying to um, deflect from our own abuse of children, particularly the church um, is always doing that. But a lot of individuals do it too. They blame us. Um, so people, you know, hopefully won't look at them. Um, and the other thing is these people are saying, oh, the drag queens are going to hurt our, they're bad for our children, they're going to hurt our children, all this stuff. But, um, they're saying if you don't cancel the show, we're going to show up and protest. We are going to possibly shoot or blow you up, basically. They're threatening to kill the drag queens. They're, they're threatening to assault or attack us, the drag queens, I'm sort of saying us gay people, um, my, co my community, while they're entertaining children. So how are you not endangering the children by threatening the drag queens who are performing with them? And, and it's like, so this, I, I don't understand. It's like, so what, you're cancelling these events because you're afraid these people who are protesting the drag queens who they say are, th you know, threatening and hurting their children because they, you think these people are actually going to inadvertently attack the drag queens, hurt the drag queens, but also inadvertently it could endanger the children because these people are protesting and threatening people who are working with children. It's, it's, it's insane. It's like, it's like these people saying, oh, protect the children, and then they're actually threatening the children because they're threatening the shows that the children are going to be attending. They're threatening to, to assault, shoot, blow up, these, 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 it's just, it's insanity and I hate that they're winning. I hate that people are so afraid and intimidated by these acts and no one, no one says anything. It's like, oh, they, they, like they claim that they're protecting the children. They're threatening the children as well as the drag queens. And I'm like, are you all missing this? Are you missing this little point? These, these terrorists are threatening children in order to get their way to save children. It's got nothing to do with the children. It's got nothing to do with them actually fearing these children are in danger. They're homophobic and they know if they cry, save the children, some genuinely concerned people who don't understand, I think, some people generally just don't understand and just are afraid and just for the sake of safety, you know, step away because, you know, people are saying they're bad and that's going to be damaging to the children. But um, I think some people generally just get scared off and others, you know, are racist, homophobic, you know, misogynistic bigots who, you know, hate gays as well as a whole bunch of other things. And they're just targeting individual things, you know, because they just want to control everything. They want everything their way. And this comes, I don't know what this comes from. I think, I think in life you realize you're vulnerable and you don't control anything. You don't control what happens in the world. You don't really control what happens in your life. And a lot of these people, they just think if they can make people believe them or, or make people scared of something or make people change something that they, they believed or what they were going to do or something that they, they get some sort of power out of it. It makes them feel like they've got some sort of control over life or, or other people or something. I don't know what's wrong with these people. And I don't understand why. I just, I understand why, but I get frustrated that these organizations keep letting these people win. And it's like, I mean, what can they do? Put on the event and run the risk of some extremist attacking a drag queen in front of children and, and traumatizing the children? I mean, you have people walking into libraries who, who uh, have a drag queen performing and shouting out abuse past the children they're trying to, supposedly trying to protect. It's, it's just, I just, I just can't. Um, because it never occurred to me they would do that. Because I'm sane. And I just saw some videos of people protesting 
um, drag queen story time events and and threatening and I'm like you're threatening people you're 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 doing that in front of children you're you're how do you with a straight face say you're trying to protect the children when you're endangering them or possibly traumatizing them and da damaging them I don't because it's not about them obviously it's not about them is it God um, yeah just YouTube therapy needed to talk about this for a minute um, so frustrating, so disappointing. I feel we're going backwards. I'm afraid um, for my community overall because we used we used to have the. Uh, it's 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 just we just want to live and do our own thing, and celebrate our community and entertain people, and and love and have fun. That's all we are and what we want to do, and we shouldn't be vilified and turned into a threat that people. I need to be protected from. It's not what we 